A number of years ago, the college stepped into a void that we had for training structural AMEs and uh, managed to spool up the program in short order. And about two years ago, we went back to the college and said, listen, we need to double the output. And they figured out a way for us to do that and are running two courses simultaneously now for us. Our experience has been that the students get an excellent base level of education and are job ready when they come to join us, which is probably the best testimony uh, for the skills and abilities of what the college is delivering back to the community. The remarkable thing about the college is that it's flexible, it's able to uh, assess the needs in the community and deliver products, services that cater to those needs. It's not just an institution for young people, it's, it's an institution for the whole community. I think that having the international, you know, international students part of the college has had a huge impact in our community, um, both through the, some of the cultural events that they're doing, uh, the different faces that go around town. Uh, it makes people realize, hey, we're bigger, Kelowna's bigger than just um, a small community in the Okanagan. We're global. The impact that the college has had on these communities for arts and culture, and for especially for writers, I can speak especially for writers, uh, has been incredible. I know Okanagan College has helped um, with the creative side of the valley in a lot of ways. Things like the writing and publishing program for one at the college, and also the speaker series, readings that we do, um, pulling students and community members in to listen. Now, we probably have one of the most dynamic writing communities in the country, right? from Salmon Arm down to Penticton because of Okanagan College. The arts and culture scene within the Okanagan region is thriving all because of the Okanagan College and their students and alumni. I don't know how many shows that I've played through things like Parks Alive or Music in the Park where the, the, the actual audio techs running the shows are college alumni. I see them every couple of weeks and it's really cool to see them actually using what they've learned in the college to uh, and applying that into the real world and really um, utilizing those to the best of their abilities to make everything grow as a community. Working here at the college gives you the flexibility uh, and the support to, to be engaged in the community and that uh, greatly appreciated allowed me the flexibility to uh, be active in the rail trail project for six years. It's absolutely thrilling to see the usage and the community push behind the trail. Everyone, no matter where you're from, you know, they adopted it as their trail, right? It's not Vernon's trail, it's not uh, District of Lake Country's trail. It's the Okanagan Rail Trail. And so that's been a very, very cool experience to see that evolve into a, a true community asset. From a city standpoint, the fact that Okanagan College uh, can work with us as a municipality to help some of our community's biggest challenges uh, I think is, is a tremendous asset. So uh, when you look at the work that uh, Dr. Kylie Myra is doing to help us with uh, homelessness and to get people housed in our community, uh, that's just one example and I think really is the tip of the iceberg where the municipality and Okanagan College can be collaborating to solve some of our city and even the world's biggest challenges and that to me is really exciting. An issue that we find sometimes here is, is finding the workforce for the businesses that we have. And so hiring can be a really big issue for us sometimes. And the college really helps with that because when we have these students graduating, they're sticking around in the Okanagan and they're having a massive impact on the economy in terms of filling jobs that the, the businesses need. Okanagan College has been a very positive impact on my business. My office manager currently has a degree um, in business from Okanagan College uh, with a major in marketing. Um, and so she's been a huge key piece for us to grow. Um, as far as business owners go, um, we look at that, you know, a degree from Okanagan College is a very positive thing. The Women in Trades training program at Okanagan College is held up as one of the premier women in trades programs. Uh, the design and the model has been worked on over the, and um, finessed over the last 10 years due to the, the dedication of all the, the team that work on it and it's been held up nationally as uh, one of the leading women in trades training programs and locally and across the province we know that women who complete these programs go on and have really um, dynamic and fulfilling careers. This line of work has allowed me to be able to afford to provide a home for my child and myself, uh, provide us with financial security and just plan a future. The Okanagan College has given 
um, the indigenous peoples of this land an opportunity. And that opportunity is something that is very important to our peoples because it's livelihood, it's jobs, it's something that uh, our children now see as possible. In the, in the past decades, we haven't seen that. So this is absolutely, truly amazing to our people to be involved and to have the opportunity to gain the education that we so desperately need to advance the lives of, of our peoples. But well, we have 80 people here and more than half of them came through Okanagan College at various times. Some of us are, some of us became partners and some are on the way to becoming partners. Enactus and the um, ShoeSwap Entrepreneur has uh, impacted me in a number of ways. One is being able to apply the actual skills that we've learned in classroom and being able to apply that to the real life. Also expanding my network opportunities and being able to have a great support system within the, the actual college. In the Shishwapal Entrepreneur Program, we have seen more than 80 participants go through this program to date, resulting in over 44 businesses that are operating in the Shishwap region today. Okanagan College has been working with Salmon Army Economic Development Society, with industry and other community players to develop targeted post-secondary education training programs that are responsive to the talent needs of those businesses that we're seeing having a high growth potential in our community. The economic benefit of the wine industry in British Columbia is about $3 billion. That's no small thing. And that's part of the training that comes from OK College, you know, giving people a chance to get out into it. Having this, uh, this access centre here in Penticton could help all of us, the, the breweries, the wineries, the distilleries, the cideries, to grow and, and to create this industry and, and create better products for the consumers. Well, the new Health Science Centre is more than just, it's, it's an integrated facility. It's dentistry and it's oral health and it's meeting what we'll call the future trends of oral health and where the science of oral health is going in terms of its integration into mainstream health. So it's fundamentally at the core of the future of healthcare. It's called integrative medicine and it's a very, very exciting and strategic move to have the facility built. But our daughter has autism and she was able to go through Okanagan College for all their programs with, uh, for people with diverse abilities. She graduated from the Certificate of Administration program and it has zoomed her ahead in her life. You know, the college needs the community, but the community really needs the college. Uh, Okanagan College staff, faculty, the advisors, the instructors like myself, we're in the business community on a consistent, regular basis. We're talking to people about what's going on. We do a lot of focus groups. We do a lot of one-on-one -on -one and develop the programs that people are looking for. When I, when I first came here, um, that was about five or six years ago, I, to me there wasn't much for uh, Indigenous people um, as far as drawing them in. Uh, but since then, um, they've had like uh, the medicine wheel um, workshops. They've, they've had pine needle basket workshops. They've, uh, the Indigenous garden is one of the best examples of the growth of the of Okanagan College, I, I think, because it's a, just an amazing way to show um, our, our history, our, our connection to the land and the interconnectedness of us with everything. And Okanagan College really, really does a good job on doing that. Okanagan College, in my opinion, as a business owner, is a leader, a first mover at engaging in industry to solve relevant applied real-world problems. So Daryl Skinner has made a direct impact in my organization which is a tree planting business in the Okanagan by providing a technique, a taping technique to eliminate or mitigate the risks around tendonitis in the workplace. So tendonitis in our workplace as a result of, of Daryl's project has been reduced by greater than 90%. I think it's important to, to tell the staff who are involved in, in uh, an organization such as the college how important it is um, what they do, not just for the students, but for the entire community as a whole. I mean, I, I'm not a student, um, I don't have any family that's a student, but uh, I'm p impacted every day on the job that they do. Um, so I think it's kind of cool how far the reach actually goes uh, for these, these teachers and the staff around them. Um, beyond just the students and into the community in general. So I, I would say thank you to them for sure. It's really sad to have to, to have to graduate and then not be part of their community anymore, but, <laughs> but they've been 
I'll always be part of that and I'll always go back and be an Enactus alumni and support the college in any way. So. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I would like to say something about just for fun. I like it'll never end up in the connections thing because it probably won't sound good. <laughs> now just make sure I don't have a button popping out. <laughs> no, I turned like a handkerchief into a bunny. It was cute. <laughs> awesome. All my dad jokes are off the cuff, right? <laughs> Um, is it on? Yeah. Okay. Is that on the camera? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got the dropping pipe right here. If I can put it on the This is awesome.